Let's find the derivative for this in less than 5 seconds. Shall we? Look at the derivative. It would be minus 3x square plus 2y upon 3y square plus 2x plus cos y. That's it. You got your answer. Want to learn the trick? Let's get started with the video. So this trick is for the form of an implicit function. Implicit function means when your x and y become inseparable. That means you cannot get your y completely in terms of x or vice versa. For differentiation of such a function using the conventional method, I already have a video on my channel. I would link it for you people in the description box and you can also get that by clicking at the i button. Right now, what you're going to do is the moment you look at any if the moment you look at any implicit function, first of all, make sure to push all the terms on the left side and the right side only has is equal to zero. Second thing, this is the formula. Your numerator will have the derivative of x where you will treat y as a constant. And similarly, in the denominator, you would differentiate with respect to y treating x as a constant. Let's apply this once more. So what we do is, once all the terms are on your left, your derivative simply becomes... I differentiate the entire function with respect to x. So this is 3x square. y has to be treated as a constant, so it's a 0. Now 2 and y are the constants and derivative of x is simply 1. Sin y becomes the constant, so it's 0. 100 becomes 0. Similarly, for the denominator, I differentiate the entire function with respect to y. So x has to be treated as a constant, this becomes 0. This would be 3y square. Again, this time your 2x acts as a constant. Derivative of y would be 1. And sin y has the derivative as cos y. And of course, for 100, the derivative is again 0. This is precisely your answer. Minus is with the entire numerator. So the precise answer is 3x square plus 2y whole upon 3y square plus 2x plus cos y. Wasn't that simple? Let's try to apply it in one more question. Again, the entire function has been moved to the left side. And now in order to get your derivative, take minus of, differentiate the entire function with respect to x. So this becomes cos of xy and for differentiating xy, you know y is a constant so it stays as it is and derivative of x is simply 1. Now further, minus y cube is just a constant and derivative of x is 1 plus derivative of 5y will be simply 0. Whole upon derivative of sin xy now with respect to y. So it is cos of xy and this time it will be x into just 1. Here x is just a constant and derivative of y cube is 3y square. And derivative of 5y with respect to y is simply 5. That's your final answer. You need not show all these steps one by one. You may directly get to this if you know the procedure well. Wasn't that simple? However, there is a little catch. You can apply this form to simplified implicit function. That means if I have something like this, you cannot just directly start with the form. However, after doing the first conventional step, we can apply the formula. Watch this. So, as for the conventional form, I can take log of both sides. As per the properties of logs, this becomes p log x plus q log y is equal to p plus q of log x plus y. Now, if this is the function, again the form becomes applicable. First step, move everything to your left. Next, let's start differentiating. Your numerator will have minus of, you differentiate with respect to x. So, this becomes p by x. 
plus q and log y both are constant, so it's a zero, minus p plus q is a constant. Differentiating this, you get 1 upon x plus y and differentiating x is again 1 and derivative of y is simply 0. Whole upon differentiating the function with respect to y, this term is a constant, so 0 plus q times this will be upon y minus p plus q into 1 upon x plus y into again 1 plus 0. Now in order to simplify it, just take your LCM, it would be Now, if I just check this, Px and Px, they get cancelled. Similarly, here your Qy and Qy would get cancelled. We will be left with minus of y into Py minus Qx upon x into, we will be left with Qx minus Py. On simplifying, our answer is y by x. So once again, it is very, very convenient for your competitive exams. Even if you cannot use this in your school or board exams, don't worry, you can always verify your final answer using this trick. I hope you like the video. If yes, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. See you with the next one. Bye-bye.